And right outside of the inn is this guy again. <laughs> oh, it's you. It seems our paths have crossed once again. I predicted you'd come this way, of course, and that's why I took the liberty of lining up a task for you. Hi, Durin. What is it you want us to help you with? I think you'll find it's along the same lines as last time. To assist me in my vital research, I require that you bring me three very specific creatures, and of course, we're going to try to help you progress science, I guess, even though this is a freaking magical world, but you know, that's beside the point. So, these creatures in question belong to the Automata genus, about which science still has much to learn. In the name of crop progress, I would like you to find me a large mechanical creature, a small mechanical creature, and finally, a creature that takes the form of a brown cog. And of course, you know, just like before, you need them in your in along with you, not in the familiar retreat, in order for this to be effective, I guess. And as much as I want to do that right now, I I want to see what else I can access right now. I think there's still a couple. Well, there's a few pieces of heart we can collect, a couple uh, side quests we can do, errands. You know what I mean. Though I think the one right there on the left, on the bottom left where that little icon is, uh, we can't access that quite yet. If my memory serves me correctly, uh, yep. This guard right here, this guy right here is just blocking it off, so we can't really do anything about that. So for now, I'm just going to jump around here and there, accepting all these errands, maybe even finishing some of them. It all depends. If they're ones that involve pieces of heart, then they're going to be pretty easy to finish. Unless I don't have them. First, I'm going to talk to you, sir. I need work, and I shall leave no stone unturned until I find gainful employment. Say, mister, you sure seem happy for somebody who's out of a job. <laughs> Way to rub it in, Oliver. What's not to be happy about? My best friend was out of work, so I stepped aside and gave him my job. Jeepers, are you sure that was a smart idea? Oh, it was the very least I could do. Truth be told, scant repayment for all he's done for me all the years. Wow, he sure sounds like a good friend. Indeed he is. Jobs may come and jobs may go, but a friendship like that is irreplaceable. I would happily give up my livelihood a hundred times over, rather than see my poor friend suffer. This here's no run-of-the-mill fellow. His heart's fit to burst with kindness. And of course we're going to steal some of that kindness. He's like, <laughs> he'll probably regret things now that we finally take some of that away from him. Just like, oh god, what have I done? Oh god, my wife and children. <laughs> I will I face them now. Actually, no, the employment rate here is pretty freaking good. Hey, nothing to worry about. Hey. Which is more of what I could say. Eh, you know, I'm not going to get po political or anything. Nothing about the real world. I'm just not going to uh, bring that up. Sh shifty. I okay, I'm just going to go over here now. Oh, dear, dear me. This simply will not do. they will never be ready in time. What's the matter, ma'am? Oh, young man, I'm in quite a predicament. I wanted to give my mother flowers for her birthday, but this plant will just not blossom. Her birthday's just around the corner, and yet this stubborn plant refuses to cooperate. No wonder the poor dab's flustered. Her man's going to be her ma'am's going to be none too pleased. Could you put your heads together and come up with some way to help me? And Oliver, we've done this plenty of times already. I don't know why you just ma magic, magic everywhere in this bitch. Why, how do you not realize this yet? <laughs> anyway. Yeah, didn't we have a spell that helps things grow quicker? Think about it, didn't flip and work. You're right, Mr. Drippy. Maybe I should try it one more time. It's no use, Ollie boy. Using that spell willy-nilly would just shorten that poor plant's life. Oh, how awful. We wouldn't want that. I reckon what this plant needs is a decent dose of sunshine. I'm afraid that sunshine's in rather short supply here in Hamelin. Oh, this plant will never blossom. Don't get your knickers in a twist, missus. There may be an another solution like. I forget where I heard it, but some someone said something about a very interesting creature that looks just like the sun. That's it. If we could get a critter to shine its light on the planet, it might blossom. What a sharp you are. It's just what I was thinking, Ollie boy. And we, we, we kind of already have it. If I remember things correctly, we should still have him. Yeah, we do. He doesn't look... Exactly like a sun. He looks more like if it, a sun were about to. I don't know. Isn't there like a blue sun of sorts? Well, technically, yeah, that can work. Thing is, though, I don't really know how we could go about using this. So they look pretty close. I really don't know what to do from here. 
I guess for now I just have to talk with anyone else that we have left to talk to. Seems this guy over here has a piece of heart for us. Splendid. All seems to be in order, just the way I like it. Is it your job to patrol the area, sir? With all these folks around, you must sure be busy. Pow, on a day's work. What's a little effort if it helps keep Hamelin safe? Ah, uh, you sure do you lo love your job. Say, when there's a royal procession, don't you just want to watch and cheer like everybody else? Well, I'm always so busy keeping an eye on everyone during processions that I really don't have time to think about things like that. Gee, you don't even think about it, huh? You sure are dedicated to your work. <laughs> well, there may have been one or two occasions when I felt a cheer brewing, but I've never yet given in to the urge. Not a single cheered man, imagine that! Take some serious flippin' restraint that does! And yeah, we're gonna steal some of that. I always just like thinking how we screw these people over if we steal a little too much of, like, their piece of heart, you know? Like, with this guy, all of a sudden, I could just imagine him hollering at Oliver and Drippy and just like, Okay, yeah, calm down, please, sir. Man, I just realized right now we did not have a single piece of heart in, until, like, we started doing this. And all of a sudden, now he feels like working even harder, even though we took some restraint, but yeah, okay. That's fine, too, I suppose. This huge group of people. I wonder if they're talking about anything. Hamelin, we don't compete with one another. We all work together for the greater good of the Empire. No one forgets the ro first royal procession they see in Hamelin. You'll never look at buildings the same way again. <laughs> well, that is pretty true. It's just Honestly, the first time going through this, I thought, just what the hell's going on? Every man, woman, and child in Hamelin knows the difference between a crankshaft and a piston rod. What, what, an, uh, what an enlightened place. <laughs> Not just for processions, you know. Sometimes they shift the streets about just about just because they can. Say the location of the black market changes every time. I wonder where it is now. Probably the, in the exact same place because honestly, this place never changes. Ever. And I think this one guy right here. Dratton, damnation! Am I not a man? Why must I always lose my nerve? Um, what's the matter, sir? It's a sorry tale, I'm afraid. There's a young lady whom I've known since my earliest days, and I had planned to ask for her hand in marriage. Jeepers, that's, uh, sure sounds romantic. Romantic? Far from it, I'm afraid. I cannot muster the courage to say a single word in her, in her presence. I've known her all my life, and yet now I find myself going out of my way to avoid her. Uh, Mr. Drippy, I'm kind of new to this stuff. Is that normal, or...? Sounds like a clear cl clear cl Oh, jeez. A clear-cut lack of courage to me. This poor lad's broken-hearted. Of course he is. And if we don't fix this soon enough, then he will be even more broken-hearted. I don't even think we have any courage for him. We took restraint. We got something else. And I, I don't think we could, we'd have courage. Unless this guy over here has it for us, but... I don't know. I kind of doubt it. My efforts are finally paying off, taking a mighty leap towards the development of a new type of steam reactor. Yeah, yeah, that does sound pretty damn good. I shall not rest until I perfected my re revolutionary steam reactor. Proper fired up, ain't you? Quite right. One must have a passion for progress in all its forms. Brighter future awaits us all. And, oh no, he just has enthusiasm. I'm not really enthusiastic about him not having what we need, but hey, we'll take... That enthusiasm, will maybe we'll even use it properly for ourselves. Yeah, I think that's it for now. That's not freaking get up and go. Man, there's always time for flowery word phrase and something like that. Flowery something or other, I didn't really catch all that. All I know for now, we can finally progress over here. You lot are travelers, I take it. That's right, sir. We've come to Hamelin to meet one of the great sages, and we think he's inside the palace. Is that so? I'd suppose you'd like me to let you in so you can have a look for him, am I right? <laughs> a great sage indeed. Good one, boy. Huh? You're obviously not... You've obviously not been listening to your emergency decrees. No one's been allowed anywhere near the palace for ages. <laughs> These travelers, they never seem to have a clue, do they? 
Excuse me? At least we have some manners. I do apologize for my young friend. She was merely unaware of the decree you mentioned and is regrettably quick to anger. We beg your pardon. Swain, what on earth are you... Shh, I got an idea. An idea? What is it then? Got a way to get us into the palace, have you? Yes, and it's very simple. We wear disguises. Disguises? Keep your voice down, Mun. Haven't you noticed the guards' faces can't be seen under that armor they're wearing? What, you're saying we're going to have to wear those awful pig suits? But where will we get them, Swain? We're not going to have to steal it, are we? Pipe down, Mun, seriously! Alright, everybody, just stay calm. I told you about the black market they have here in Hamelin, right? Well, they'll definitely have some pig armor for us there. We just have to go and get it. Really? Cracky, look who's got all the answers, eh? I don't see why you couldn't always be this... this useful. Like, <laughs> Oliver's face is like, uh, uh, Yeah, we're gonna break in and do some stuff. And I think I just walked... Oh, wait, never mind. I thought I walked back to the guards. Wasn't really paying attention to which way we were facing, but... That's beside the point. But yeah, if you couldn't guess it... That one little icon over there, that's where the black market is, is and also the star's pointing there now, so... Obviously, that guard is just gonna let us right through, but, eh, why not? I mean, I don't even know why he was blocking off the entrance in the first place. I, I wanted to kind of go over there a little earlier, but... But I guess if I wanted to avoid wasting time... Yep, he's no longer in the way anymore. Not really this is as far as I let an outsider get, but with that fellow you're with shares some uh but that fellow you're with shared some rather juicy gossip with me. Exchange for which I'm going to turn a blind eye. On you go. Alright, cool. Thank you, Swain. Man, what do you have to say? I hope you you and your friends aren't here to make mischief. Eh, I'm sure you're not. It's just that I've come across some rum sorts in the past. Yeah, you have every right to be all sorts of uh, consp- well, wait, what's the word? I ah, just thought to sleep deprived. It's all another waste of time. Waste of time? What do you mean, sir? It's my sister, you see. She's always been poorly, and I've devoted my life trying to, to trying to find a cure. Sounds like you both had a hard time. Hope you find that cure for her soon. I was on the verge of completing a remedy I felt sure would cure her. But now I wonder why I bothered. Huh? But you were nearly there. I feel like it's... I felt it has been a fruitless exercise. All those years I've wasted... Ugh. Perhaps nothing can be done for her. I'm not gonna spend the rest of my life on a fool's errand. I did my best, but it's over and she must accept that. Uh, Mr. Drippy, I think this man might be... That's a sharp holy boy, you've got it in one. He's broken hearted and made no mistake, lacking kindness he is. I think we did take some kindness already, so... We should be able to help this guy out immediately. I don't know. Not with healing touch. Where's that kindness at? What in the world have I been playing out? Dolling here while my dear sister suffers. Neato, you got your kindness back. Now you're cured, it's time to cure your sister. You have my deepest gratitude now. On with my research. Oh, but it almost slipped my mind. Please accept this token of my appreciation for your sterling work. And we get two pixie dues and 500 guilders. And three stamps. And I think this makes for our second merit stamp card, so... We'll be there pretty damn close for finally getting something with, like, one of those perks. Powdered old corn, fresh black truffles, there's nothing old Abel ain't able to get. Oh god, this guy has my name. <clears throat> Why though? <laughs> Why would you want my name? Have I met you somewhere before? Uh, no. Now then, let's get down to business. I need some grunt armor. Four suits. Can you help me out? Blimey, grunt armor? I don't handle gear like that, sir. But if I did, what would you need it for? You don't need to worry about that. Let's just say the place we need to go to has what you might call a strict dress code. Is that a fact? Well, even if I was in the armor business, gear like that ain't easy to get a hold of. You'll just have to look elsewhere, sir. 
I see. Well, I'd hope I wouldn't have to mention this. But I know about Grace. I know you love her, and you tried to hide her. Don't you say an don't say another word! Where'd you hear that name? <laughs> you know how it goes. Spend long enough in the gutter, and you're bound to pick up some dirt. Alright, I'll get you your armor. I'll get it for you right away. Just wait a moment. Did, did you... Was that a threat? Maybe. But the ends justify the means, right? We need that armor. That's terrible. This isn't right. We can't take advantage of people like this. Yes, yes, all right. I did a terrible thing. You're right. I'm sorry. There, I apologize. Stop looking at me like that. It won't happen again, all right? You promise? Well... I promise to try my best. Can't even make a simple promise. What kind of man are you? The guy that's getting shit done. Shh, shh, shh. Shut up, Esther. I don't know. Sorry to keep you waiting. You just gonna? Are you gonna put it on straight away? Yeah, if you don't mind. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Abel. You're welcome, Oliver. <laughs> I don't know what you're up to, but be careful, all right? Oh, and nice one, by the way. Eh? Your friend. I take my hat off to him. Only a real pro could have worked out my little secret. Funny, really. Before he mentioned it, I had him down as a right joker. But he obviously knows what he's doing, right? <laughs> so, it wasn't a threat? Swain, look. Come on, let's get changed. Yeah, <laughs> freaking drippy. Look, Swain, I'm sorry What about what I said before. I just... It's fine now. How does your armor feel? Uh, I guess mine's a little big. Mine too. I bet I look huge. No, no, you look just like you know usually do. But I'm... Ah, ha, ha, ha. Come on, you guys. Let's stop fighting and head for the palace. You're right, Oliver. Let's find that great sage. Esther and Swain have got a right old rapport. With the right material, they'd go far in the stand-up circuit. Sweet. And I... Yeah, actually, no. I don't think we could do anything about this one. Nope. Very potent. God damn it. And wrong way in general. I gotta go this way. In my awkward suit. <laughs> Look at this. I just like this part right here because you just see Oliver dawdling around in the freaking suit. And just It's obviously too big for him. He's not really used to wearing a suit of armor, he's just like kind of waddling, essentially. Hey, what are you lot doing out here? Sir, we were sent out to fetch something, sir. Do we summon someone out? Oh, Nickers, he made a potch of it already. Oh, you went to pick up the prince's weekly supply, did you? He never gets tired of those things. Alright for some, eh? Have you ever tried one? Oh my goodness, just say no, Swain. Yes, sir, just the one, sir. Black truffles are a bit on the expensive side, sir. You're not wrong there. You need to be a prince to afford that habit. Well, then you'd better hurry and deliver them. In you go. You know, we're in. Do you really know your stuff, Swain? Did you used to work here or something? Eh, no, nothing like that. Why are you so interested in my past, anyway? I'm not the least bit interested in your past. I'm just making conversation. Well, we got more important shit to worry about. Uh, we've done well to get this far, but if the guards find us now, we'll be in big trouble. Don't do yourself down, Mun. From what I've just seen, you could sweet talk us past anyone. I don't think my silver tongue's gonna get us any further. From here on in, they'll attack first and ask questions later. What? So we just give up, do we? No, we can't give up. We made it this far. We have to keep going. Let's just make sure we don't get caught. All right, Oliver, but listen, if a guard spots you, just start running as fast as you can. It ain't much of a plan, but it'll do for me. So yeah, now it's a stealth mission. And, of course, uh, Drippy's gonna just mention some stuff. You can just open up the map, check all where all the guards are at, because they're gonna show up as blue dots on there. And then you could also use the camera to your advantage, because you could hide behind corners and stuff. But yeah, their vision, their field of vision is pretty limited. And yeah, as long as you don't get too close to them, they won't be really noticing you. Plus, you noted you mentioned like these little uh, these little spots right here. Got to use these to your advantage. This is nowhere near as intricate as Ocarina of Time's 
like little sequence where you have to hide, get past the guards and such. And we just check this door real quick and can't do shit about it. But hey, it's uh, yeah, it's a little more, it's pretty interactive. But yeah, pull up the map, you can see where all the guards are at. Kind of get an idea of where, what their patterns are. Like this one right here, it will constantly circle around this little pillar in the middle. So you don't have to really worry about much there. Oh, that oh, saw me. Okay, that's fine too. Holy shit. Kind of gave me a heart attack. Uh, situation like this. Found the best thing to do is keep your cool. Look him straight in the eye. Then flip and leg it. <laughs> and just like in any other game, any other game that I've played, every time you get caught, they just don't even bother upping security at all. Like, whatsoever. So really, just... Not nothing to worry about at all here. And yeah, you see right here, from this distance, he can't really see us properly at all. And once he makes his way past that little area, yeah, it's, I think you just have to follow a set pattern here. You really don't have much in the way of freedom of where you can go, because that guard right there that we just passed on the right, uh, yeah, he's always gonna be tr be trolling like that area. He never goes past that area at all. So you have to be passing this guard. Use this little alcove right here to get past him. Make sure he gets far enough, because otherwise he will notice you. And I just gotta worry about this. But yeah, the game tells you you could use the camera to your advantage here. Just hide behind the corners and use it to look around. Which looks freaking weird, but hey, I'm not gonna complain. And I just gotta worry about this. Oh, wait, I think I realized why I got caught in the first place. Because that star hid the freaking guard that caught me. So I didn't realize that he was there until it was too late. <laughs> anyway, I don't think there's much else we can do here unless the guard's coming this way. I think he is. I'm gonna have to hide over here. Oh, I don't know. Their field division is very limited. So, like, if that guard starts coming over that corner, which looks like he will be. Right there, even if he sees, yeah, he sees me, he doesn't see me from way over here. He's like, oh, it's just some guard right there standing around inconspicuously. Nothing to worry about there. <laughs> Just gotta wait for him to get all the way to the, well, I don't want to wait for him to get all the way to the corner. You kind of want to follow behind him, make sure he doesn't hear you properly. And then just hide in this little corner right here. But yeah, the path I'm going, the path you guys see me going through right now, I'm pretty sure this is the only pattern you can really do. Every other spot, there's a guard that's just outright blocking it, so there's no way to get past them in that sense. You just gotta wait for that guard to turn around like that, and we're in. We are in! Oh, Nickers, it's a dead end! Hey, look! Flippin' Heckman, stop shouting! But look, it's a manhole. What do you mean it's a manhole? A hole in the floor is about as much use to us as a blinking. Wait, if we go through there, I think we'll come out somewhere around there. Well, it's worth a try, isn't it? It certainly is. Now, let me just remember things correctly. Oh, we can save in here. What I recommend, if you don't feel confident enough going into this manhole, go outside outside of Hamelin and grind. Maybe around to what I have Oliver at right now, when I really want to kind of grind up Swain and Esther, especially Swain. He's like two levels lower than Esther, three levels lower than Oliver. But also, also, if you have any familiars that have storm magic or storm tricks, uh, you might want to train them up, especially if they have really good magic attack. That way you can do, deal with things more properly. In fact, I really should have gone to the familiar tree to... Eh, you know what? I think I'm gonna do that real quick. Alright, guards, catch me real quick. I kinda gotta... Oh, wait, I don't think I can... Oh, wait, never mind. I can't go out. Never mind. <laughs> I thought the game just outright blocked me. He was like, well, if you didn't train now, you're fucked. Excuse me, sir! <laughs> I'm gonna grab Gogo. -Go. I think we're gonna need her for this fight. But I'm gonna control her, Esther! Esther! 